Ahoy hoy, I'm Planet Walk, and today we are on to pseudoscientist number 8. And, you know, this person was bound to make this list. I am, of course, talking about... CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. He interrupted me. That's kind of rude. But yes, we are talking about CC. If you don't know who CC is, well, you've been missing out on some of the wackiest things ever said by flat earthers. So, let's take a look at what he has to say today. It's a Sunday. A day of worship. Wait, how did he know that I was going to release this video on a Sunday? That's spooky. Also, he better be worshipping me. I'd bring out my Bible because I've been reading it. I've been reading the Christian Bible lately. You know, that is actually really impressive. A flat earther has finally learnt how to read. Now, how do we get him to read science textbooks? That's the question. Let's take a look at something that I've been interested in finding out about. And that would be information about the Black Rock. Yeah, in, in the North Pole. You know, the, the highest mountain that's out there. You know, I'm not sure what you're talking about there, CC, given that there is no land at the North Pole. So if there's no land there, there's not going to be a tallest mountain there at all. Okay, so let's look through Google. That doesn't look like Google to me. It looks like this screen on an Android phone, and that's not Google. So, highest mountain on Earth. Yeah, it just pops right up. Uh, okay. Wikipedia has the highest mountain, generally, uh, Mauna Loa. So I tried to find what he's talking about there and I couldn't. There is nothing that says that Mauna Loa is the highest mountain in the world. Now the page on Wikipedia for Mauna Loa does say not to be confused with Mauna Kea and sometimes Mauna Kea is considered the tallest mountain in the world. So maybe you got it from there, I don't know. That's 13,678 feet um, and uh, 4,169 metric miles for you guys out in the UK. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did he just call meters metric miles? He doesn't know what a meter is. <laughs> oh. And the worst part about that is the closest thing that exists to metric miles would be kilometers. Not meters, and he's very clearly talking about meters here. I suppose I shouldn't be too harsh on him for that, because he is over in America, and a lot of people over there do use imperial kilometers. Uh, let's look at the five tallest mountains in the US. Mount Everest, of course. Since when was Mount Everest in the US? I feel like he doesn't actually know how to read properly. He said that he was able to read the Bible earlier. I'm starting to doubt that. Oh, that's a beautiful picture, isn't it? Look at that. That's like the picture I took this morning. Oh, look at the red sky. That's yeah, nice. Okay, it's kind of hard to make out, but I could tell. On his screen there, it said Mount Everest, China, and Nepal. That's not in the US, buddy. Learn to read, please. But uh, good luck if you get to the top of the mountain up there and uh, the atmospheric conditions are horrible because it's beyond, uh, this is 28,000 feet above sea level. So I think air around 15,000 is not breathable. So you have to go through this 30 day process to climb this goddamn mountain. But doesn't that kind of debunk the idea of a flat earth, seeing as that kind of pressure gradient shouldn't really exist? At least not if it's flat in the way that many flat earthers describe it. On a globe, we would expect to see something like that. I'm not finding anything about the tallest mountain in the world. This is what Google will tell you. I mean, Google has told me what the tallest mountain in the world is. Are you sure you are reading properly? So we're going to have to go into Google search and actually find out exactly how to find this mountain. 
Well, it depends what you mean by tallest mountain. Do you mean from the base of the mountain to the peak of the mountain? Or do you mean from sea level to the peak of the mountain? Depending on what you mean by the tallest mountain may change how you need to search for it. That's generally how search engines work. Like if you switch over to Bing or something, you're not going to be able to do much better. Black Mountain. Black Rock Mountain. North Pole. Let's try to find that. See if we put that up top up. Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me. He thinks that he already knows what the tallest mountain is, and so he thinks that Google is wrong or something. Is that what we're getting here? My question is that we can't even find any pictures of this at all. None. Nothing. Wikipedia, blog, YouTube, I mean, Black North Mountain found. I mean, everything has been hidden. Don't you seem to understand that? CC, I don't think anything's being hidden. You know how there's words on your phone? Maybe try reading them? Though maybe it is possible that Google is trying to hide this mountain from CC so that he doesn't ramble on about how mountains are fake or something. I do wonder how this supposed mountain existing fits in with his belief that mountains aren't real. Because that's something that I believe he has said. And then you understand that everything is fake. Every single thing that you've learned. History. The mountains. Everything is fake. So yeah, you're giving us conflicting messages here, buddy. Just pick one story and run with it, okay? Also, it's worth mentioning that this mountain that he's talking about doesn't actually exist. Turns out that a long time ago, people thought that, hey, maybe there's a mountain at the North Pole which produces the Earth's magnetic field. Of course, nobody's ever seen this mountain or anything, but it doesn't stop flat earthers from believing in it, despite the lack of evidence. That was a nice break. CC, you should probably do more of them. That video I made yesterday. With my compass. Okay, when I said you should take more breaks, I didn't mean in the middle of your sentences. Like, maybe try to put them after your sentences, that would be a better place. It always will show magnetic north. And unfortunately, There is no magnetic south. So why does the compass always point north? Because that's the way that we've made the needle point. If we made the needle point south, then it would point south. Because here's the thing, the magnet in the compass has both a north pole and a south pole. The way that a compass works is it aligns itself with the Earth's magnetic field and for that you need a north magnetic pole and a south magnetic pole. No electricity at all needed. No batteries in your compass. It just needs a little water and a dial. And it'll always point north. I mean of course, it's just a force, right? You don't need batteries for everything. <sighs> See on a globe that wouldn't work. The magnetic interior of the so-called imaginary planet would disrupt those waves. Wait, where did waves come from? There's no waves. It's just a magnetic field. That's it. And our magnetic field is generated by the interior of the Earth because it's in motion. Please, Chris, I'm begging of you, please learn to read and then read a science book. So a compass would never work on a ball or a spinning wet ball. It would be impossible from China. China's up beneath. Again, Chris, please learn how magnetic fields work. They're not just straight lines that radiate out from a single point. They're curved, and I know you don't like that word, but it's the truth. Actually, here's a fun fact. Compasses are designed for the fact that we're on a globe. Depending on where you are in the world will change how the compass is designed. Okay, so I challenge any scientists out there. Tell me, explain to me how a compass works on a spinning white ball. You know how earlier you had your phone out and you're searching up on Google? You can ask Google other questions as well. Like you can ask Google, how does a compass work on a globe? 
and it will try to give you an answer. Sure, it may not be the answer that you're looking for, but often it will give multiple different results so that you can check multiple different sources. But if it doesn't give you an answer that confirms your preconceived biases because they're wrong, then tough cookies. See, it only works on a flat plane. It would have to be the highest mountain on a plane in order for us to point directly north where the compass Here's an idea for you, CC. How about you try to photograph this mountain or something? You know, you could go up to the North Pole with your P-1000 and try to find it. Because as it stands, there's no evidence this mountain exists. Just your assertion that there is one. And the way that you tried to get around this is you claimed conspiracy, claimed that they're just hiding it from you, and that's why you have no evidence. Whereas a better explanation is that it just doesn't exist. I could just as easily claim that I'm the real god and the reason why there's no evidence for this is because they're hiding it from you. Google doesn't want you to know. Though that conspiracy is a very real one. You should worship me, by the way, because you find out what happens when you do. A simple compass proves that the Earth is flat, that we live on a plane. And I'm sorry, I didn't do this. <laughs> I didn't make this world. Well, I made the world and I can tell you that you're wrong. The Earth is a globe. My evidence for this? Well, if you search up Is Planet Walk God on Google, they give you no results about me being God, so they must be hiding the truth from you. So therefore, it should be obvious that I'm God. So what have we learned today? Well, we've learned that CC's biggest enemy is reading, we've learned that Americans tend to use imperial kilometers, and we've learned that I'm God. So that is it for this video. I certainly had fun with it. So leave a like and worship if you like this video. Leave a comment letting me know who you think is going to show up in the series. As always, a big shout out to my $20 or more patrons. Huge R's, MC Nutkin, Mori, Vermont1777, Tony C, Rosanna Keller, Wolfie, Kid Vicious, Sarcha Campbell, definitely not NASA, Craig D'Amelio, Richard M. Chapman, Kaylee, and Fist Wizard. If you want to support me financially, you can do so on Patreon. There should be a link there. Or you could buy me a coffee. I will see you in the next video. Between you and me, 